Hi, Hi everybody and welcome back to a new video. In today's video we are going to attempt to cook with you guys. Not for you guys because it might not be that good. But with you guys. I have to throw it out there. Larry and I are not professional chefs. No. We've never taken cooking classes, cooking lessons. No. Maybe in high school when we had to, home ec and stuff. Not me. But um, so this is one of my favorite go-to meals. I've cooked it plenty of times and a lot of you have been asking, how do you make it? How do you make it? What's the recipe? So I'm gonna share it with you guys. First, I'm gonna lay out all the ingredients, show you guys that, and then we're gonna get to cooking. Okay, so here is the produce you'll need. I'll run through it really quick so you guys know everything that we use. You can alternate. You don't have to use the exact same vegetables. You can use some of your favorites as well. The first thing we have is turkey thighs. It does have bone in and it also does have the skin on. I used it for flavor. That's the reason I went with this. If you wanted to be a little bit healthier, you could also get turkey breast or chicken breast without the skin on. For vegetables, I have whole baby bella mushrooms, celery, this just saves me time just to get it in the sticks. You don't have to do it that way. You can get the full stock, but we went with that just because it's quicker. The next item is sweet cherry tomatoes. I love roasted cherry tomatoes in the oven. I also purchased a whole onion, baby carrots, Brussels sprouts, green beans, which I have just pulled out of the fridge, which is why they had all that fog on them. Now these are a new find. I used them last time I did this recipe. They are the purple baby potatoes. They're slightly sweet yet nutty with a lush texture and firm skin. And of course I went with the traditional golden potatoes. This time I am gonna serve it with a side of rice. I just picked up the ready rice. It's quick, it's easy. This is Uncle Ben's roasted chicken. And then seasonings. This is what I use on the vegetables in the oven as well as my turkey. So I have the complete seasoning. You can use any complete seasoning. Our seasonings are very simple here just because Larry doesn't like a lot of seasoning, so this is very simple. I have garlic powder, which I'll only put on mine. Himalayan pink salt. Extra virgin olive oil. Black pepper. And this is just chicken granules, like chicken broth. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this turkey. You want it to be completely thawed. We just purchased this today. I am gonna cut it. If you have turkey or chicken in the oven, or in that in the oven, if you have chicken or turkey in the freezer, just make sure you pull it out several hours ahead of time to thaw it. The first thing I'm going to do is take it out of the package. I'm gonna fill a bowl with warm salt water and I'm gonna let the turkey sit in it for about a half hour. I guess that's called brining. Um, it does make a difference. I didn't think it would, but it actually does. Okay, so the turkey has been sitting in the salt. Wow. That was kind of startling. <laughs> Anyways. I think it was in a hurry. I think so. Okay, so this, the turkey has been sitting in the salt water for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and put it in a glass cooking pan. Okay, so I'm gonna use a glass cooking pan like this. You're also gonna wanna set your ovens to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it is gonna depend on how thick your turkey breast or chicken is, so make sure you guys are making sure that the meat is 165 degrees Fahrenheit before you eat it. So I don't wanna give you the exact times and have you guys do it and then it's not cooked perfectly, so just make sure and check that yours is cooked all the way through. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull the turkey out of the salt water, place it in this pan. I'm gonna spray the bottom of the pan with some olive oil spray. And then I'm going to take my melted butter, I did half of a stick, and I'm gonna pour that over the turkey and then add some sprinkles of seasonings. And to keep the turkey from sticking, I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just so it doesn't, I already said, just so it doesn't stick. Okay. Here is one, two. Now, this is for two people. However, I do not finish mine. So this is maybe leftovers for about two days. Next, I'm gonna take a stick of butter. This is the Land Lakes butter, and I'm just gonna cut off a thin piece. And I'm actually gonna separate the skin a little bit from the meat and kind of shove that up under. You do not have to do this, this is optional. And then while you're working with meat, make sure you guys are washing your hands lots. 
I have just washed my hands. Now what I'm gonna do is take this butter that I have melted and my seasonings, and I eyeball this. This is not all measured out, which is probably kind of annoying for you guys, but this is the half a stick and I'm gonna add my seasonings to that. So because Larry does not like a lot of seasoning on his, the all-purpose seasoning or the complete seasoning is only going to go on one. I always give Larry the larger turkey breast as well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle mine with this. It's not one thing to come out. <laughs> Shake it. Okay, there we go. Next, I'm gonna go in with a chicken bouillon. I'm just gonna grab a teaspoon sprinkle about that much onto the spoon and then drop it right into the butter. Again with the garlic. I am the only one who likes the garlic, so I'm just gonna sprinkle mine a bit. Going in with pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt, I just like the pink Himalayan. I'm gonna crack that on the chicken. It's actually a turkey. <laughs> Next, going in with pepper. Okay, that is literally it for Larry's. Larry's is very simple. He gets the salt and the pepper as seasonings. Mine are a little bit extra. Now I'm gonna take that butter mixture and seasoning, mix it up, and set it on it. And then I also kind of drizzle it over top. Like that, and it does seem like a lot now, doesn't it? But it is delicious. The next step is to take foil, and then we are going to just lightly cover the turkey. Now this is gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. The next step is to cut our vegetables, but first I'm gonna rinse them off, that way everything is ready and prepared to go for Larry and I to chop them up together, which he is so excited about. Chop it up! He's very excited to chop with me. <laughs> Do you guys hear our pterodactyl birds? Those are actually sandhill cranes. Lots of noises going on in this video. I have two different cutting boards out because we just have that many. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like and we're just trimming, cutting what we need to cut and we'll go from there. So for the Brussels sprouts, I have already pulled a couple layers of the leaves off. I just have to cut off the stems. The good thing about the baby potatoes is they're so small you actually don't have to cut them in half if you don't want to unless they're a little large they'll cook a little faster. The cherry tomatoes, I do not put in for the full time with the potatoes because they're more fragile. So they cook faster and so I usually put them in when they have 10 minutes left to go. Then I have my mushrooms. Larry is snipping away at his beans. Snip, snip. And then he has his carrots and celery, which you don't really need to cut those either if you don't want to. I think these are the right size. Yeah, it'll be like a little roast. Roasty toasty. Roast. A roast. Roast as in rolling. <laughs> Roast as in rolling. So we are going to chop. You know what we need to invest in this year? What's that? Better knives, like actual kitchen knives. That's what I mean. I see those a lot in sets and I never know if they're good ones to buy. I know. Well, I always see, see that's scary. Why is it black in there? I don't want to eat that. See this Brussels sprout? That's scary, I don't wanna eat it. <laughs> so if you cut it and it looks weird, don't eat it. Having fun? Yeah, yeah. Is this your favorite meal? Certainly, it's right up there. As long as I get the turkey right, <laughs> then it's a good one. The vegetables are always great. I was thinking about going live on Instagram, but we can't really go live on Instagram while trying to film for this. No. It would be too confusing. And then, if you guys are curious about what the inside of a purple potato looks like, that is what a purple potato looks like. 
It's like a potato that's purple. What Larry said. So this one, always lay your pans with foil. It just makes cleanup a little bit easier. This one I'm gonna use for the potatoes. This one I'm gonna use for the vegetables. I'm using the extra virgin olive oil and then I just kinda take it. What I do is I drizzle it over everything and then I get my hands really dirty and I just massage everything in together. This is when you can add your seasonings as well. I'm probably just gonna add salt and pepper into mine. You can also use coconut oil. Like if I was going to be making maybe yams and something else and I want more of a sweeter instead of a savory, you can do olive, not oil, olive oil, coconut oil instead. And then this little slot right here will be for the cherry tomatoes that we'll add with 10 minutes left to go. Now, according to the directions, after we pull out the turkey, it has another 30 minutes to cook. So in its final 30 minutes is when, actually, in its final 40 minutes is when I'm gonna stop to start to pop in those vegetables. That's what I'm gonna do. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. <laughs> They're missing out on your great <laughs> wand skills. I'm just gonna steal one of these cherry tomatoes. Hey y'all. That's a hard one. Oh my goodness. I forgot to chop some onion. I love to have big chunks of onion. Onion. Ogres are like onions. Ogres are like onions? What's that from? Uh, Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like cakes. You're not like cakes. What is your go-to? Let me know in the comments below what your go-to fall meal is. I wanna start doing like crock pot recipes as well. I think that would be really good. I just saw, oh my gosh, Larry. I just saw a crock pot homemade, what was it? It was like a fall inspired hot chocolate that you make in the crock pot and let it simmer all day. Looks really good. Then there's of course the ciders. Then I know there's like an apple chicken recipe. I don't know, I've been fall hunting recipes lately. Mindy's dad makes a roast the in best. a slow cooker, along with the celery and carrots, onions. Does he have potatoes in there too? He definitely has potatoes. the potatoes. And asparagus? No, No. not asparagus. No. Um, I think he puts potatoes, the big chunks of onion, which is probably like why I like the chunks of onion. All the vegetables, really, you can think of, and then just the roast, and it is so good. It, you can, it just, it's amazing. I'm pretty sure the roast is a staple in everybody's fall. So what I mean by big chunks of onion, <laughs> this is what I mean. And then I'm just gonna lay those on the pan as well and drizzle some olive oil on them. Oh, I need to salt and pepper everything on the pan. I almost dropped the olive oil. Don't do it. It's slipped. Now, I will be linking all of this in the description box below just because I know it's a little hectic to like watch it being done. So I'll list the ingredients that I used and then what I set the temperature at and how long I cooked it. But please remember if you do cook meat, to make sure that you're checking that it's at the correct temperature before eating it. Don't go by exactly what I am doing. Just to throw that, I don't want anybody to get sick. So 
So the turkey has 32 minutes to go. I'm actually gonna wait for that time to cook down. I'm gonna pull the turkey out, I'm gonna baste it, take a look at it, and then I'm gonna pop it in for another 30 minutes, and then that will be time to add the vegetables and the potatoes. So I'll be back with you guys once it's time to do that. So about 60 minutes, give or take, on the turkey, and you wanna cut that in half and allow the veggies to bake for 30 minutes. Actually, I think total time, the, yeah, basically. Okay, so the oven has just went off. We are actually doing an Instagram Live for the first time, which is really cool. So Larry is doing Instagram Live while we do this. So I'm gonna check the turkey for you guys. Let's pull it out. Thank you, Mike and Dan. You are awesome, too. I'm so happy that you follow us on Instagram. I'm glad that you're able to see us. And, and, uh, oh, my God. I can't even. I haven't heard from you in a while, so I hope you are well. Isn't Larry cute on Instagram Live? Can't take yeah. it. Here's what our turkey currently looks like. I'm going to baste the turkey and then we're going to pop it in for another half hour. And we're also going to pop in the vegetables as well right, and the Canada. potatoes. Sue loves the Halloween shirts. Those were designed by Mindy. She did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you like them also. Anyways, I'm going to go vlog for you guys. I'll be back while Larry's continuing this, and then I'll be back. We just Where the heck's the baster? Sue <laughs> wants some more shirts. Make, make some shirts. Make some shirts. Maybe for Christmas, guys. You guys know I'm a Christmas lady. I can't find the... The baster? Yeah, the turkey baster. It would be in that drawer there. Yeah. Well, oh, a little sneak peek if you want to see what we're cooking. Vegetables, potatoes, this, veggies, and then so far we've got the turkeys in there. That is what we are cooking. All the vlog is going to be, well, not the vlog, but it's going to be a video on this. So I'm going to pop all these in really quick. I'm talking to the vlogging camera over there and I'm talking to you guys over here. Babe. We're gonna pop, I oh my gosh, I don't have enough racks. <laughs> I don't have enough. You probably do. Do I? Will they fit? Oh, it'll fit. Okay, yes, it'll fit. Cause I can put the round one in the bottom and then the two squared ones on the top. Oh my gosh, some help. Okay, go in. one is in. Veggies number two are in. And then is now in for an additional 30 minutes. And what am I doing? Oh, for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, how long ah! okay? I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so we are going to check the temperature of the turkey, 133, 137, 146. We wanna make sure it's at 165, it is over, which means I did overcook it a little bit, so adjust your cooking time, guys. Okay, now we're gonna pull out the vegetables. Actually, we're gonna stab them with a fork. They are not done yet. Uh, favorite movie to watch? Mine would be Shawshank Redemption. Me? Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Wait, that's the turkey. Ah. Okay, so everything has been pulled out of the oven. Everything is done and complete. We are now going to serve it up on a plate and we are going to enjoy our very yummy fall inspired meal, which will last us a few days. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cooking with us video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye! Bye. Obviously. Obviously. Hi, Bye. everybody, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we are going to... We are going to... <laughs> Ready? Yay! This is gonna be so weird because you're not gonna be able to like see our heads. You're just seeing. There's gotta be a better way for this. Oh. But I don't know if there is a better way. Yeah. I either chop off our heads or don't get the vegetables in frame. There we go. O M G.
Okay, so the turkey has been sitting in the, in the, and then just to keep the turkey from, okay. And just to keep, and, okay. Oh my God, I've been recording for 27 minutes on here. Why did that turn off? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't do that.